This is the Technical Difficulties for Playing Citation Needed. Joining me in the studio today, he reads books, you know, it's Chris Joel. Hello. Everybody's favourite, Gary Brown. Gary Brown. Salute. And the bounty man on the internet, Matt Gray. It's not a studio, it's a kitchen diner. I'm choosing to quietly ignore that. In front of me, I have an article from Wikipedia, and these guys can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding and a prize for particularly good answers, which is... Mystery Biscuits! Oh, yeah. Today's article is Lisa Clayton. She's from somewhere that makes bricks. La. Oh, why do you say that? Clayton. 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 Oh, right. Uh, Birmingham, actually. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so someone from Birmingham. What is this? Crime Watch? <laughs> have you seen Lisa Clayton? <laughs> have, you se- have you seen her? Do you know her? Well, here's the thing. Lisa Clayton, you wouldn't have seen her for quite a while, for 285 days. Because she was invisible. <laughs> briefly. <laughs> That's not briefly. You cause bedlam with 285 it's, days of invisibility. It's brief in the universal scale. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes. So 285 days of being invisible. Uh, of, of not being seen by the world. Is Hibernation. In a cupboard. World hide and seek champion. <laughs> I'd go with that one. Uh, not quite. She certainly did go away for a while. Arctic wanderer. Oh, explorer, certainly. I'll give you a point for that. Explorer in the sense of going places rather than the sense of discovering places. Did she go to Wolverhampton? That, That's uh, still not been discovered. <laughs> the mystical city of <laughs> Wolverhampton. <laughs> Some, the, the, oh, the one thing I do know about Wolverhampton, they've got battered chips. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two very different reactions. I went, oh. Matt went, yeah, yeah. yeah like that. You can see, I'm with Matt on this. See, it would involve going to Wolverhampton to get it, but what I can do is try it at home. <laughs> and the, other, the other thing is, I think you'd only need three. I think after three, I'd have had enough. Have you ever had a battered chocolate bar? No. no. No, I once tried that, but I didn't work out you had to put batter in it, so I just dropped a Rocky into a pot of oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's a chippy around the back of the Nestle factory, and I had a back- battered Yorkie. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, no. a, that's a dense Ooh. one bite was yeah. enough because it is just hot, dripping chocolate, mm. hot, dripping oil, and it's just a weapon, isn't it? Basically, yeah. I think. We're, we're back to our chocolate rods from God. From, we are. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's how you get the casing on to get it yeah. through the atmosphere. I was going to say that that's yeah. a hand grenade. <laughs> I was once in the US, and uh, someone ordered deep fried cheesecake. Ooh. Uh, How does that work? You get a slab of cheesecake, and you, and you fry batter it. it, and you deep fry it. But and what? then you add like raspberry sauce in it. I had one Naturally. bite. I had one bite, it's like, that's lovely, and there's now enough. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a cake, some cake the other day, where somebody, rather than creating icing, had just rendered down entire Mars bars. So oh, every oh, element of the Mars bar was, then reset into... And I, I, I can't that, get behind that. I, when I was... Um, I was Quite a while ago, I had a house in York. And the oven was a bit dicky, but I wanted to make a cake, right, to take mm-hmm. to work. So I made cake one, didn't really rise, door not shutting properly. Now, what I should have done is said, F- it, I'm going to Tesco. But damn it, I'd started, I was going to do this. So I tried again, that one also flat. Tried again, that one also oh, flat. Oh, God, I know where this is. Third sorry. one burnt down, fell over, and then sank into the <laughs> swamp. <laughs> but the last one stood up. But so I, put, I thought... At this point, something happened in my brain that wasn't normal sense. I thought, stack them all together, put jam and cream in between, oh, and then I oh. melted over the top an entire Yorkie. Oh. In fact, three entire Yorkies, I think it was, I put over the top of it. You've just got a brick. You, you've got a... You've got a- I've got to say, weapon there. it was almost starting to collapse in on itself, mass-wise. <laughs> <Super> <laughs> I nearly created a cake black hole, it turns out later on. Um, someone said their teeth hurt after yes. eating it. <laughs> you've, got, you've got four cakes crushed down. Yeah. We're out of osmium, best use cake. The Weird. middle of it's diamond. <laughs> yeah, the middle of it was a solid diamond, and small other buns were starting to get trapped in its orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking past a cake shop to take it to work, stuff battering up against the glass <laughs> cake based gravity could you, I'm going to say could you do that I'm pretty sure the answer is no, no. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm achieving it as the years pass yeah a long time ago, we were talking about Lisa Clayton. Oh, here we were, yeah. uh, To give her a full name. Did she go into space? Uh, no, oh. Lisa Littleton, Dowager Viscountess Cobham, as she's now known. Now, that's one for your exam paper, isn't yep. it? Yeah. She set out September 1994, came back June 1995. Trying to discover America. Worked out it had already been done. <laughs> oh, you know what? You're, you're very close. Oh, shit off. And you said 285 yep. days. Only person to walk across Not Canada. 
but not seen people who'd see you in Canada. There yeah. are there are people. She tried to row across the Atlantic on her own or something. Oh, it's close enough. I'll give you the point. Fastest ah. sail around the world by a woman, mm. single-handed ah. without assistance. First British woman to sail single-handed, non-stop around the world. Oh, Respect. Well done yeah. to you. That's, a, yeah. that's good work. That is. If you still... and to be sat there with one of your hands just in your pocket, thinking what? Single-handed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, making that, it, just making it look good. Wow. <laughs> that seems that, like an unnecessary thing you do. Encumbrance, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a point somewhere off the Cape of Good Hope. You're like, I should really have done this two-handed, really. But you know, we're, I got, did I've, say at the start, an I've, award's I've, an award. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-eight foot yacht. Does anyone want to take a guess what it was called? Given that she was sponsored uh, by her university, University of Birmingham. The brummy bastard. <laughs> It's a good name for a boat. Not I was quite. hoping it would be by a sponsor by a Staffordshire University, and then she could have been keelhauled. Hey! Hey! Oh, Keel is a town in Staffordshire. <laughs> was he the all right? <laughs> you know what? That's close enough. It's the spirit of Birmingham. <laughs> I was going to say H R H Lenny Henry. <laughs> Spirit of I like I like you. I like the way you went with H R H Lenny Henry. Oh, no, Something yeah. I'd like to see rather yeah. than H M S. Me too. Thirty-one thousand mile journey. Yep. Single-handed round the world in a yacht. Some of the difficulties she she've had on the way. Crying she, if Ellen MacArthur's if anything. Ellen, yes, Ellen MacArthur's anything. Test your delivery not turning up. <laughs> yeah, wow. <well. laughs> She goes, you have enough trouble, have enough trouble with that anywhere. Yeah. Uh, She's just sitting there, sailing around, you know, sailing, sitting there, trimming the sail. All of a sudden, she looks Sorry we missed you. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> I have a hundred miles of visibility in every direction. That's I because see. they've got, we've got a Tesco submarine. <laughs> I like the idea of, of Tesco submarine delivery because it implies there's a Walmart submarine from a different superpower yeah. steadily hunting them. <laughs> and all Asda can afford is a destroyer on the surface hoping for the best with yeah. depth charges. And well, there's a car four flotilla <laughs> coming up. Yeah. <laughs> We're loading in the granary torpedoes now. Hey! <laughs> Granary torpedoes, I, of bread. I, enjo- yeah, I enjoyed he, he it. it. I got it. Hardships on the way as you're circumnavigating around the world. Oh. What, might, what might your boat do? Fall over. Yes. Have a point. <laughs> I'm going to go for more drastically sink. <laughs> Capsize. Well, she wouldn't have made it round if it sank. She might have Swamp. been able to reinflate it. <laughs> What do you think? Inflatable <laughs> dinghy. It's not the not nine ninety nine Tesco summer range inflatable dinghy. It's not Stood the on one end, inflating the other end. <laughs> it's not the Scarborough boating lake. She's trying to circumnavigate here. No, she she went round that enough times to make up thirty one thousand yeah. miles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Capsized seven times. Wow, I don't know how right. you write a boat on your own when it's capsized, but carefully. Uh, yeah, you basically you stand on the rail, and I think there's a line that attaches to the. End of the mass. I mean, this is the principle for dinghies. I don't know about oh, okay. th- don't know about a thirty-eight foot yacht. Yeah, um, but basically, you haul on that end of it. Wow! And then you go back in the water yeah. as it. That's... And hope it doesn't keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's principle with smaller vessels. I don't know if her weight's enough to do it, or whether she can move ballast across in. Ah, that's the, the point. It's, yeah, there's, it's probably water-based ballast, so you pump it up to the top side or something. Or the side that's out of the water, and then you lean on it. And... I would have what, thought what? you wouldn't go all the way around the world without a boat you couldn't write. Because it's capsized, then you got turtle, which is when the mast's downwards, and then you, you just... That's it. You, you go home. <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, did you see this thing... It was earlier in the year. You know, they're now mm. sort of these carbon trimarans with solid carbon sails. Mm. It's just like a big vein on the back. Yeah. Um, they flipped one. Oh, they nosed that. in. Oh, is this the America's oh. Cup? Yeah, yeah one yeah. of the America's Cup one in the man. That yeah. killed them. Yeah, because yeah. it was it was fifth. Because the new ones are essentially hydrofoils. Yeah, they're they floating hide- above mm. for most of most yeah. of the journey. Fifty miles an hour, nose in, hole, flipped it, mass down. Yikes. So the America's Cup works by the winner of the previous America's Cup sets the rules for the next one. Oh, is that one. it? Yeah. Ah. And the person who won the last one was, I think it was a billionaire who runs Oracle and all sorts of Yeah, ideas. that's it, cause it's so always it's Oracle. Like, all the boats, carbon fibre, high speed. Trimaran. Yeah. Cool things. Yeah. Essentially, if Batman had a sailing boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to the bat boat. But when they crash, it's... Everyone does. Terrifying. Yeah. Well, only only one. Everyone else was sort of. Oh, really? In, I thought in, it was everyone. No, yeah. no. They they were rattled, but they managed to limp it back to port or get it towed or something. But God, that'd yeah, be great. The, in other competitions, the fa- if the winner could set the rules for next time, 
boxing. You can have the springy boxing gloves that come out like that and back in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and until you beat me using that methodology, yeah. I'm not interested. We need to get Elon Musk to win tennis. Like, yeah, you have to do it in space. You mentioned Dame Ellen MacArthur. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's oh, it's yeah, quite interesting it. to note the difference between uh, her and Lisa Clayton. Obviously, Ellen MacArthur, knighthood, mm. uh, for breaking the record. Lisa Clayton's essentially slipped into obscurity. Mm. Well, yeah. not anymore. <laughs> All eight of you watching, please spread the word. word. <laughs> At the end of the show, congratulations, Matt. You're this week's winner. Yeah. That went on for much longer than I expected to. But slightly less long than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you win a British Prime Minister's feeding trough that tells kids to be wary of people they don't know. It's John Major's Stranger Danger Manger. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that. Quite useful one of them, actually. Yeah. In the meantime, I don't want to know why. Um, that's been Chris Joel. Godspeed. That's been Gary Brannan. Godspeed. That's been Matt Gray. Bye-bye. I've been Tom Scott, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Is this something like fish slapping dance? (laughs) With a side of bacon. Bacon beating. Brandon, if you'd care to mime with me. Go on. (laughs) Come, sir. (laughs) Bradford Crane. Bradford? (laughs) Just sounds like. Bradford Crane. (laughs) Hello, Bradford Cranes. Uh, Yeah, we've got a 9 ton, a 14 ton, and uh, Maurice Micklewhite. Yeah.